you. Yeah, you. Come here. Did you know that making art calms your nervous system? Did you know that it makes you feel better inside and helps you feel calm? Well, I think it's a great time to make some art. Hey artists, Miss Cabase is here. Welcome back to another session of art exploration. So this week, we're actually going to be going back to our drawing skills. That's right, all you'll need today is a pencil, paper, and a mystery object. Today, we're gonna to be also using a very important tool, and that is your eyes. That's right. We're going to be looking very carefully and closely at something. Hmm, I know that there's a special word for that, but can't think of it. Been in here way too long. What is it? Uh, what is it? Louder? Observation. That's right. Today we're going to be making an observational drawing, but in order to make an observational drawing, I need something to observe. Let's go find something that I really love but haven't been able to use in a really long time. Come on. And I'm back with my shoe. So this beautiful, it's part of a pair, but it's just one. This beautiful, <laughs> pair of shoes actually means a lot to me. I've had this pair of shoes longer than most of you have been alive watching it, which is mind-blowing and <coughs> scary. <sighs> so I want you to carefully and closely observe my shoe. What are some of the things that you notice about it? You might be noticing colors, Texture, remember we've talked about line, we've talked about shape. What do you notice about my shoe? Pause the video right here and list as many different observations as you have right now. I'm kicking you off. Okay, so you might have noticed colors, you might have noticed the creases, in the material these are actually canvas shoes so you can definitely see the wrinkles and the texture right here uh, definitely noticing cracks from being used so much there's definitely uh, some smooth areas and also some bumpy areas as well so now that we've made some quick observations about the shoe we're going to see how do we put this all onto paper let's do it all right, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is set up your working space. A floor will do, as I'm showing you right now. You're gonna need to have your object and you're gonna need your paper right next to it. It's gonna be a place where you can see it in plain sight, okay? So I have it above my paper. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to put it sideways so you can see what I'm doing a little bit clearer. But for you, if you're sitting at a table, you might leave your shoe like that. But if you're drawing above, like I am, because I'm set up on the floor, this works better for me. You also have an opportunity to kind of stage what you're drawing. So you might decide, um, I don't want these laces in my drawing, so I'm going to tuck them away. But don't do that out of fear that you can't do that, okay? You have plenty of time to practice your drawing. So when you're drawing something from observation, the trick to drawing anything is always breaking it down into recognizable shapes. So you want to break it down into what things? Shapes. We reviewed all different kinds of shapes last week, like organic, geometric. You're going to see a lot of organic sh shapes in this, but I also noticed some geometric shapes as well. Okay, so I'm going to start from actually the bottom of the shoe because it's going to help me understand the scale. Scale means size. So we always, when we draw, we draw light until we get it right. And it's like my eye is following 
the line of this line right here, the bottom of the shoe. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole outline of the shoe first. Okay, let's zoom in now and take a closer look. So you always draw light before you get it right. When you press down really hard, you're gonna have to erase. That's gonna be really annoying. So make sure that you're drawing light with sketching lines instead of pressing down hard, okay? So I've got the outline of my shoe. Everything is pretty light. I've already noticed I made a mistake here or there. So I go back and I fix it. What's great about observational drawing is that you have the object right here and you can spend as much time with it as you need. Do not move the shoe or your object at all because oh, it's gonna change what you see. So make sure that your object is staying the same at all times. So from here, you just draw what you see, dude. Follow the lines. I might use my pencil and then use my pencil. Remember, your fingers are also tools. I can use my finger right here and know that, huh, the width of this part of the shoe is equivalent to the width of the first part of my finger, right there. So I know I can use my finger here and there, make a little mark, and know that this width should carry on throughout the whole shoe. Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watch is in his pocket Yeah, he stays late but he leads me so I follow You said that was really fun? Cool. Oh, and you notice I didn't color that in? Yeah, that's right. Don't color it in and leave it for next week. We're gonna use our drawing for our next lesson. <laughs> We're gonna complete it. I can't wait to show you how. Until then, have a wonderful week. Remember to like, share, send me pictures. I wanna see what you're making at home and stay creative. My friends.